favorite, that my favorite part of the St. Louis Auto Show is the classic vehicles. We have the coordinator for the Horseless Carriage Club, Dr. Gerald Hirschbacher here with us. All right, tell me a little bit about some of the cars you are displaying here today. Well, it's interesting. We're saluting six consecutive decades from the 20s through the 70s here at this auto exhibit. This is the 24th year the Horses Carriage Club of Missouri has done this. We are the largest and oldest car club of our type in the world. And so we will next year be celebrating our 75th anniversary as a club. But we decided to look at the decades from the 20s through the 70s as key examples and good choices for how the automobile industry has matured over those decades in particular. And there are decades that most people, I don't care how old you are, can appreciate. Well, absolutely. I mean, like I said, this is my favorite, you know, exhibit part of the club. Now it's getting smaller and smaller here at the auto show, but you guys have a greater event, the Easter show, where people can come out and see all sorts of classic vehicles. Definitely. And we're giving out information here. We've had several people sign up and say they'd like to be coming like to be coming to our April 1st Easter Concourse de Elegance in the Upper Muni parking lot at Forest Park. AAA is helping us put this event together. They've done that for decades. So we are the, the power club in coordinating so many things. We're not the only club. There are many other good clubs. But we like to help lead the way, especially at events like the St. Louis Auto Show. So it's been a real dream to introduce a lot of people, a lot of generations, a lot of people of young age. I saw a one-year-old here, and she was delighting. I think I gave her one of our cards about the club. She held on to that, and Mommy couldn't get it out. That's what we love to hear. And if somebody's watching right now and wants to know more information, how can they find out about the Horseless Carriage Club? We have two ways to do that quite easily. One is a website, www.hccmo.com. That's our website. Or you can dial 314-991-HONK, H-O-N-K. And that's how you can reach us. We'll be happy to help you out. We'd invite you to come to our events. And if you have a car you need to dispose of or need to find a means by which it can be repaired, a good way to do that is to find out about the hobby by coming to a meeting and sharing your information. We also have a newsletter, and uh, we will, as long as the car is 25 years old or older, be willing to run that, no charge to you. Oh, we love that. All right, well, so tell me about what's behind us right now. Well, this is the oldest car at the St. Louis Auto Show for 2018. It is a 1928 Pierce Aero sedan. This car is mainly original. The interior, I guess we'll see that in just a moment here. The original interior is phenomenal, 90 years old. The car was driven here on its own power, didn't need any help, no pushing, and we loaded the car into our exhibit. So that's the oldest of the bunch. A car like this sold for about $4,000 when new. You multiply that times 25 to see what the dollar value is in today's buying power, and you see it's, it would be a $100,000 car by today's standards. And yet it wasn't the most expensive Pierce Arrow. There were some that sold for $8,000. over here now I see you broke a little rule you let the little guy go underneath the ropes there and take a photo why did you want to do that because I hope hopefully one day he'll be able to afford one that's what I'm saying that is what I've been talking about all day out here kind of law of attractioning our own desires and you know maybe he'll get one one day right yes yes give me one <laughs> and now is the Aston Martin your favorite one here in the million dollar mile uh, that and the Ferrari I think the, the Lambo yeah the Lambo yeah, that's what I'm yeah, yeah. That one in the Lambo. Now, what do you think you would be able to do with the Lambo? Do you think you'd be able to take that out here on the streets of St. Louis? No, 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 no. But I will take it somewhere. Dream cars? Uh, it is. It is. I love Aston Martins. I love all exact cars, but I love Aston Martins. How old are you? I'm 13. 13. So that means three years you get to drive. You think that'll be in your future in three years? Uh, maybe. I don't know. 
No, no, I want a better answer than that. I want a yes. Yes. There we go. See, we're manifesting our own realities here. This kid wants an Aston Martin in three years. Maybe somebody will make it happen, right? I hope. All right. You think you can handle that much power, though? Yeah. I, I, I would. Do you, do you practice with, like, uh, video games and stuff? Yes. Of course. <laughs>
driver. It's all about the driver then. Driver and then whatever setup we decide to put in it versus each other. But um, yeah, in general, it just is a blast, uh, you know, to have somebody to talk about challenges and to get this up to speed a bit quicker uh, at the events. And, um, you know, he's a very insightful, technical guy. So a great addition to what we do. Absolutely. And you already talked about you guys are going to be coming to Gateway. So that's going to bring a whole different fan base, a fan base that you clearly have because You've been here for seven years and they want your autograph. Yeah. Are you excited about performing for them right here in St. Louis? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's amazing. And you know, we've been doing the auto show and, and hopefully we'll continue doing it. Uh, but now to get them to see the other side of what we do, right? We come here, we do shows, right? It's very much just a, a very lax, you know, have a good time, put on a show. Whereas Formula D is, this is the professional side, the motorsport of drifting. So I'm excited for them to get to experience it. They've been asking for it for years. I've been hounding Formula D, and finally, uh, it's gonna happen. I love that. Now, you are gonna be putting on some shows outside. I, I remember when we talked last year, you said you gave a lady a ride and she had her eyes closed all the time. Have you experienced that this year? <laughs> no, everybody is just full of excitement. Uh, I've experienced uh, some very nervous people. In fact, I had uh, one of St. Louis' uh, finest uh, police officers out here. She was so nervous. But uh, once we got going, she just had a blast. Couple screams, but other than that, man, everybody, everybody gets in, and once we get going, I think they maybe trust that I halfway know what I'm doing, and then uh, we just go. Gotta love it, Vaughn Gittin Jr., Monster Drifter. Tell everybody where they can find you, social media. I know you're on there a lot. Yeah, I'm on uh, Instagram, at Vaughn Gittin Jr. Same with uh, Facebook, official Vaughn Gittin Jr. Uh, make sure you all check out the brand new uh, 2018 Ford Mustang RTR and the F-150 RTR at uh, Mustang RTR on Instagram. Well, right, and you kind of helped design that, right? Yeah, RTR is my company, my vision, and uh, you know they're over there. If you want to go get some shots and, and show everyone what we've got, but yeah, we, you know, I, I'm not a designer. I'm a visionary. Um, you know, I, I have the vision. I talk to my designer, get it out of my head, get it out of his head, and then we make it reality. So uh, we've got a lot of great feedback this year, and everything's going really well. Are you pretty proud of to able to see that Mustang like in life? Yes, um, you know, there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes. You know, fortunately, you know, Ford does such a good job with the, the, the Mustang that we use to build our cars off of. So they make life easier on that. I would not want to be them in designing and engineering the complete car, but we basically take their car and, and you know, make some adjustments for, you know, we're not for everybody. Um, we know that, but the people that, that uh, our cars are for, you know, that want that to be a part of their lifestyle, want to have a little bit enhanced performance, um, you know, we're, we're putting smiles on their faces and, and that's what it's about. Yeah, well, we're going to go check it out. Is there anything you want us to be looking for in particular when we go check out the one that you designed? Yeah, I think, you know, if, uh, you know, you just check it out and look at the, the style of it, you know, we have spec ones, which are appearance focused and you can see the appearance clearly here. The spec twos come with some adjustable suspension uh, and some engine tuning and the spec threes are coming with up to 700 horsepower this year in the new 2018 Ford Mustang. Ford has really pushed the new 2018 Mustang to the next level in all aspects, handling and performance. And then our F-150 over there, that thing under the hood also has a supercharger, makes 640 horsepower, it's four wheel drive, and uh, it can be uh, you know, a blast on the street. They can hit some jumps and, and be off road. You know, it's not a Raptor, but you know, it's slightly lower, got a little bit different stance and has some uh, very fun all around capability. Gosh, I got a little bit. I have to ask you two questions before I let you leave. One is, how do you stay this upbeat all the time? Are you just this happy of a person? Um, I am, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I stay positive, you know, um, I'm surrounded by great people and, and really positive energy. Um, you know, I do a lot of traveling, so I try to try to eat right and, and, and you know, keep uh, keep the brain and body fed. And uh, just in general, you know, I'm living my passion, I'm living my dream. And uh, so, you know, what do I got to whine about? I guess that's true. And then second, what's your favorite monster? Uh, I'm an original guy. I I'll, uh, I'll take that back. I like import. Oh, you're an import and I an like OG import. guy. Yeah, I, I like import. I like the. I like to be able to reseal my cap, you know. And you just like the top. Don't lie. You no, just like the top of that. I love the flavor. No, I love the flavor of import. You know what you gotta love? You gotta love when you just run into some drivers out here at the gateway section of the St. Louis Auto Show. We have Travis Brayton and Austin Blair out here racing around. Well, they're not racing right now. They've been signing autographs. Now you're in the ARCA race that's coming to Gateway in June. Why do you race? Well, I like to go fast. You just like to go fast. What got you started into racing? Well, it's a long story. We probably don't have the time. But uh, I'm from West Virginia, and I grew up on a farm, and I wanted to race Supercross when I was a kid. A lot of kids still do today. And I got, I got into a little bit of dirt bike racing and stuff. 
long story short, I ended up getting into a go kart race on a dirt track, and I got this itch where I wanted to go race all the time. And it's been it's been what I've done ever since. My whole life. So I mean, you love it, right? Oh yeah. All right, now your car is right behind us. Uh, what's the best part about being in there during a race? Well, people don't realize sometimes there's a lot of work that goes into race cars, and you know, we have a team of guys that put a lot of time and effort into doing it. We have some great sponsors, and so when you, when you put all that together and you can have success, that's exciting. And so I'm in there driving the car, but you know, my I know my team is behind me and all, all of our sponsors and our fans, and so it's exciting when you have that success and you know there's all this excitement. A lot, of, a lot goes into the back end of that. Now, you're not racing Arca. What are you racing? I race Arca Midwest Tour, um, basically the feeder series uh, for Arca, and then eventually the NASCAR. All right, now, what got you started into racing? You're kind of a racing family, but what got you started? There? Yeah, so my father uh, was a general manager at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and uh, I got my start in tournament just while we were out there, uh, which are basically go first. Um, and then just, I kept working my way up the ladder, and uh, now I'm today running midgets on dirt, and I'm running a Midwest Tour car. I'm really enjoying it. You are. Well, what is your end goal for yourself? Like, where do you want to see yourself? You know, I, when it comes to NASCAR or IndyCar, I honestly prefer IndyCar. But really, if I can be in any top level series, that'll be more than enough for me. I just want to keep racing for the rest of my life. Again. You're pretty young. How old are you? I'm 17 years old. 17. So I mean, you got you got a ways to go. So and you got plenty of time to get there. Yeah, I've got time. Uh, just taking any opportunity I can, really. There you go. You gotta love the races. I didn't ask you. Where is your future? Well, I'm, I'm the famous fan. I'm trying to make myself a career in stock car racing. NASCAR is the, the elitist of all that, so that's, that's my goal. Chris Blair with Gateway at Motorsports Park here at the St. Louis Auto Show. You have quite the crowd out here. What kind of things do you have going on here at the Auto Show? You know, it's an unbelievable day. This is probably one of the biggest crowds we've ever seen here. We have uh, Robert Hyde signing autographs over about the AAA Funny Car. A little bit earlier, Joseph Newgarden was here signing autographs. So to have two world champions, defending world champions here was, was great for us. Uh, a couple of our ARCA drivers are here signing autographs. Lots of cars on display. This is our biggest footprint we've ever had. So and the, the fan response has been tremendous. We, we're already at over 5,000 fan guides distributed for the show. So pretty happy with what we're seeing so far. It's pretty exciting. And you didn't even mention the carts. You got the carts from the, the Cartplex yeah. over there. Third year in a row we have the karting going on. So the, the Gateway Cartplex gets moved into the dome. Uh, it's a great experience, awesome opportunity to ride. Perfect time of year to be doing this indoors too. So it's, it's a great day. It's, it's been a wonderful day now. You've got the Indy, Indy car came. Yep. It had a great response. It got so many great reviews about the venue and everything like that. That had to be a proud moment for you. Yeah, it was, it was great. We won a lot of awards. We won the Racetrack Business Conference Outstanding Facility Award for the year. Uh, we also won the Downtown St. Louis Award for overall event of the year. Uh, and the, the crowd was incredible. And we made a commitment that night we're going to make it bigger and better for this year. So moving forward, we're going to have a K&N series on Friday night as part of our Coors, Coors Light Bowl night. Uh, and we just keep working on the schedule. We've got a lot of great things coming up. And when can we expect IndyCar back here in St. Louis? Yeah, it's coming back August 24th and 25th. Uh, sticking with that August date. It worked out perfectly last year. We're hoping we get the same weather again this year. Now yeah, we're going to be adding some uh, new and exciting things to it. I love that. Now, you know, I, earlier I talked to Vaughn Gittin Jr. He's excited about the drifting coming to Gateway Motorsports Park. Fill us all in on that. Yeah, so we've been working on Formula Drift since 2013 when I first got here to the track. I've worked with those folks since 2006. It's a great series, and they've never really taken the, the move to move into the Midwest. So this year, it's a big step for them. First time ever in the Midwest. Uh, Formula Drift's going to be here two-day show, August 10th and 11th. Uh, going to be taking place on our road course. Uh, and if you've, you've, if you've ever seen the drifting that Vaughn does here at the Auto Show, that's just a small taste of what he does in a confined area. When you turn him loose on a big track, it's absolutely incredible. It's going to be awesome to come see. And when can people expect to come see that? And I want to mark that on their calendar. That one's in August uh, 10th and 11th. So uh, tickets will be going on sale early March for that show. Uh, all the information is up at formuladrift.com as well as gatewaymsp.com. We have had quite the eventful day here at the St. Louis Auto Show. I don't know if you know this. This is one of my favorite events of the year. We've got the regular cars, the ones that, you know, we might want to go buy. That way you can bounce around and see all your favorites. There's the Million Dollar Mile. Vaughn Gittin Jr. is outside drifting, taking random people on rides. You've got Gateway Motorsports Park here with their carts and their Indy car. Just a lot of fun. And you know what? It's not all autos here at the St. Louis Auto Show. We've got rides like this, too. 
It's a super fun event. If you missed it this year, make sure you check out the St. Louis Auto Show next year. For STL TV, I'm Angela Sharp.